what is up y'all and welcome to my channel i hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome scorpios out there are doing well before i get started let me say hello to anybody new that's viewing and to all of my returning viewers and to my bffs okay and when i say bff i'm talking about all of my subscribers everybody that is a part of the blue flame family so yes you guys i have been on hiatus i've been on a little break for a minute but it was not voluntarily okay trust me it was involuntary <laughs> I remember doing a reading a couple of weeks ago. It might have even been last week. I don't know, y'all. Everything just been kind of running together for you, girl, these past few days. So I remember doing a reading, you know, about resting and how spirit can't communicate to you and get these messages to you if you want to go and constantly moving and this and that. Not knowing, y'all, I'm talking about my own damn self. And I have to remember, as a reader, I am here on a journey as well. And so, shit, some of these messages be for me as well. You know what I'm saying? So... I was experiencing some headaches, y'all, and it was my head and my jaw, and I was like, what in the fuck, you know, so I guess it was some tension headaches, I don't know, like, I, it was like my forehead was killing me, I know I did some readings a couple of weeks ago, I was talking about how bad my forehead was hurting, and then it was, it moved to my jaw, so, you know, sometimes we be trying to keep pressing forward, but spirit has a way of sitting us down sometime, okay, so I'm not gonna say I'm back. I'm going to try to do what I can today without overdoing it and making sure I'm taking care of myself, okay? So I thank you guys for being very patient with me. Like I say, you're probably not going to get to me every day. I'm not going to be up here every single day until I can, you know, spirit got, got me focusing and working on some other stuff right now. So when all this stuff is finally settled, I'll be back up here like I was, okay? So until then, y'all, we're going to get into these messages. So let's see who this reading is about for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. Messages for Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about for my Scorpios? Who is this reading about for Scorpio, Holy Spirit? Well, damn. Okay. So we have the Three of Wands and we have the High Unference. Okay. So somebody here is making preparation, okay? Someone could be growing, they're expanding, okay? They're looking for something ready to move forward with some type of plan or idea. For some of you, there can be an overseas opportunity, like you can be possibly collaborating or working with people overseas here. But there's some type of preparation, okay? Somebody here is trying to look for some type of inspiration to take some type of action but someone here is preparing to take action okay and once they take this action this is going to allow something or someone to move forward for some of you whoever this is that's preparing this could be somebody that's preparing for marriage scorpio okay because we have the high offering okay and it talks about a high level of commitment here so you have someone here for some of you this could be a fire sign we got fire and we got Taurus. okay so you have someone here that's preparing it's kind of like while you can be in this energy of waiting or you feel like you're waiting or you anticipating like you feel like you know you know something or you know you just feel something is coming towards you and for some of you it's about to be a marriage proposal okay somebody here is preparing you know what i'm saying to be a man, be your husband, or, or for you to be their wife, okay? So what's the situation, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpios. You could be seeing 333 Scorpio. I see fucking 555 every freaking day. So I know definitely we got some changes in store, okay? So what is the situation? Messages for Scorpio. All right, so the situation is we have this King of Wands, okay? So, Scorpio, you can be in this King of Wands energy, okay? You're a natural leader, okay? That means that 
the things that you do, you know, how you move, the way that you are able to see things, how nobody, it's like, it, it's natural. Like, you stepping into some type of leadership position, it's going to come to you very naturally, okay? Or maybe you've already stepped into some type of leadership position. This could be this person preparing to step into this leadership position, okay? For some of you, you've been preparing to become this, this entrepreneur, or to start your own business, like you have the vision, you know what I'm saying, you see it, other people may not see it, but you see this vision, okay, you're very career focused, very goal oriented, I also feel with this king of wands, you got somebody here that's starting to see the bigger picture, like someone here could have been focused like on one aspect of something, but it's like now that they're in this energy of preparing, like they're finally starting to see the bigger picture here. So let's pull on this. Tell us more about this King of Wands. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. Tell us, Holy Spirit. Tell us more about this King of Wands. Yeah. So this is someone who's stepping into. I'm going to read this two ways. For some of you, you're this Scorpio. Some of you guys, you're this King of Wands energy, okay? Male or female. You can be a female that's having to take on a very masculine role, okay? Which means that you're having to do things that mostly the man would do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're having to provide for your family. You're having to do everything. Like, everything that you do is basically you. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody else. It's just you, okay? And you're this energy. You're this person that's in this King of Wands energy. I'm talking to my females here, okay? Now... I feel like there's also someone that's preparing that's wanting to step into this King of Wands energy, but they've suffered some type of heartbreak, okay? This is someone that's trying to release this heartache and pain that they've been suffering, okay? They're trying to be optimistic about their future year because they're trying to overcome a challenge, okay? So this King of Wands for some of you is you, and for some of you, this could be someone else in your energy, okay? This is someone that's finally either starting to see the big picture here, and it's like now they're seeing a big picture, it's allowing them to release some type of pain or, you know, this is somebody who told themselves, you know, I'll never fall in love again or nobody ever want me, nobody ever loved me, I'll never be able to do this, like, that I can't, I never will type energy, right? So whoever this person is, this is someone that's finally starting to see the bigger picture here, okay? And, and because they're starting to finally see the bigger picture, they're able to release some type of pain, okay? This is a, someone who was able to forgive themselves and possibly someone who you will be able to forgive as well, okay? They're very optimistic about the future as they make this transition in life, okay? So somebody here is about to make a transition. For some of you, this could be someone going from single to in a relationship, going from a relationship to being married, or somebody going from being married to being divorced here, okay? But whatever this is, someone here is trying to recover so that they can move on. All right, so let's see what happened in the recent past. They go another three. Remember I told you guys, three, three, three. So there's another three for you. All right, so let's see what happened in the recent past. Messages for my Scorpios. What happened in the recent past between Scorpio and this person? You can be dealing with a Libra. We got, let me look at this, King of Wands. You can be dealing with Libra, Taurus. Who else do we have? Okay, Scorpio, Sag, Libra, Taurus, and Aries. All right, so let's see what happened in the recent past. Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. What happened in the recent past here? Okay, so in the recent past, someone here, they lacked the long-term vision. Yeah, see, in the recent past, for some of you, you could have saw the bigger picture, okay? For some of you, this has to do with a relationship. This could have to do with work, you know what I'm saying? Y'all take it how it resonates. Because I'm picking up a couple of storylines here, right? For some of you, this is work. For some of you, this is love. For some of you, you've been preparing to step into this natural born leader or to become this natural born leader, okay? For some of you guys, somebody is preparing to be possibly your kingdom husband, your kingdom wife, you know? But whoever this is with this, um, whoever this is in this king of wands energy, though, this is someone who didn't see 
the bigger picture in the past. So, okay, so this is someone who possibly invested in the wrong thing. Okay, they could have been investing time, money, energy. Okay, this is someone who invested in the wrong thing. For some of you, maybe you had a business at one point in time. You know, you could have made a couple of bad investments, you know, as we all do, but it was like you had to learn the hard way. You know what I'm saying? Like those bad investments was just really an opportunity for you to learn. You know what I'm saying? Learn what to do and what not to do. I also feel like this is someone that's having to overcome a distraction, a major distraction in their life that really led to this major disappointment here. So somebody here was distracted, right? And whoever this person was that distracted them, they invested a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of money, especially with this pentacles, okay? They invested money with this person, but they didn't get, you know what I'm saying? Like when you in, when you put an investment in, when you invest time and energy and all this shit into somebody, you expect to get something back in return, right? But this person, they didn't get none of that shit back in return. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus here. Doesn't have to be. So let's look at the current problem. All right, Holy Spirit, so what's currently going on in this situation now? Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio. So what is currently going on in this situation right now? What is the current problem? What is the current problem? I love you, Scorpio. Mm. The current problem is, Scorpio, that you no longer desire this person, okay? So whoever this is, for some of you guys, you got somebody that's preparing, okay? Somebody that's making progress, somebody that's moving forward because they're finally starting to see the bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? They lack the vision. They didn't see the vision. For some of you, this person didn't see that you were their twin. You know what I'm saying? You told their ass. They didn't want to believe this shit. But it's like now, it's like, you know, this light bulb done went off. You know, now they, now they finally see, seeing the shit. But the problem is you won't really give a damn no more. Okay, we got this ace of wands in reverse. Like, you don't even desire this person anymore. You don't desire to see him. You don't desire to talk to him. You don't desire to have sex with him. Like, all that chemistry, all that passion, all that desire that you once had for this person, the thrill is gone, okay? And that's what the problem is. Now this person, for some of you guys, is preparing to become your whatever, you know what I'm saying, your kingdom husband, your kingdom wife. But the problem is, is that you're not interested. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't have that... That passion, that chemistry, you just feel like this person is gonna weigh you down, hold you down. Like you just, you don't, you don't, you know what I'm saying? You're not interested in this. We got lots of fire energy, okay? So some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, or at one point in time, Scorpio, it's kind of like fireworks and this connection between you and them. You know what I'm saying? It was like a very passionate connection, but it's like not no more, okay? Not no more. The thrill is gone, okay? So what are the outside influences? Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. So what are the outside influences to this connection? All right, four swords. The outside influences that this person was needing to heal, okay, with this four swords energy, they were needing to heal. So it was kind of like, for some of you, it kind of I'm, I'm kind of picking up, I'm, I'm describing a journey, right? And it was like, you've moved on. For some of you, you've moved on to somebody else. If not, you just moved on with your life. It's like, whatever you desired from this connection with this person or whatever you desired in, in a past career or whatever you used to desire, you don't desire those things anymore, okay? And for some of you, this has to do with you desiring to be with somebody, okay? You might have, in the past, you desire, you know, you wanted to have this connection you wanted to reunite with this person you wanted to have this reconciliation in the past but it's like shit you don't want that no more and the outside influence is kind of like us while you were moving on with your life this person was needing to heal okay and for some of you this person has been healing okay because remember we do have this three of swords they did go through some type of heartache pain some type of emotional pain something that broke their heart like this is something that both of you guys share right but the outside influence what's influencing this person to prepare what's influencing this person now they're seeing a bigger picture it's because they're healing so before this person was able to heal they weren't able to see shit 
Okay, they was blind to every god doggone thing that you said. But it's like now that this person is in the healing process, now the spirit is working with this person's body, their mind, their spirit, and their soul. Now they're able to see this bigger picture here, okay? So what are the hopes and fears? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. So what are the hopes and fears now? Messages for Scorpio. So what are the hopes and fears, Holy Spirit? Ooh, the sideways. Two of Cups. The hopes and fears now, the current problem is now is that this person does not know if that you're going to have this unified love, okay? That this, this means this person doesn't know if, if you guys are going to be able to reconcile. They don't know. And like I said, for some of you, they don't know because you've moved on. You're in this Ace of Wands energy, okay? A lot of you guys are career focused because you're in this King of Wands energy, okay? You're just focused on your career. You're focused on your goals. You're focused on doing things that make you happy, okay? You're focusing on self-love knowing your worth okay you discover your worth and now you just focus on your goals because you know you don't deserve you know what i'm saying shit for a long time scorpion ain't gonna lie when i was single and didn't have nobody you know what i'm saying i, I feel like that was the worst thing ever you know what i'm saying because i still was in that codependent energy a lot of us we don't feel worthy you know we don't feel good about ourselves unless we're in a relationship or unless we feel wanted but shit we have to know that we're enough first and that's why a lot of times fear put us by ourselves because you have to understand that you're enough and until you know that you're enough nobody else is going to know that shit either okay and this person i feel like because they didn't see the bigger picture i feel like i'm talking to some scorpios who you told this person like you could have told this person you're my soulmate you know what i'm saying you're my twin you know, you're, we're destined to be, like, you broke all this shit down to this person. They looked at your ass like you was high off rocks. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was on that shit. And it's like, now that you've moved on, now that you lack this passion, now that you don't desire this shit anymore, now this motherfucker's able to see the bigger picture. Where the damn car at? Where my car is at? God damn it. Yeah, now this person in the King of Wands energy. Like I said, for some of you, you're sharing this energy, okay? You're, you and this person are mirroring each other. You're stepping into your King of Wands energy or you're already in this energy. And this is someone that's starting to step into it now. Now they're preparing, you know what I'm saying, to sit side by side with you on that throne. But the problem is you don't want it no more. And for some of you, you really desire to be with this person. Like, you looked at this person as your kingdom husband, your king. Like, you looked at, like, this is what you were wanting. You know what I'm saying? This is what you truly desired back then. Okay, what Mike Jones say back then, didn't want me. Now I'm hot to all of them. Okay, back then, they didn't want you. But for some of you guys, because you're career focused, career driven, baby, you ain't going to allow this person, anybody else to stand in your way, baby. Shit, it's all with. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're focused on your goals and you're not going to let anybody distract you. See, this person let too many people distract them. They let too many people, too many things. Scorpio, you could allow people and things to distract you in the past, okay? You can focus on your goals. You can achieve those goals and shit like you wanted to because you want love and you thought you needed this and that, but then when you realize, shit, all you need is your own goddamn self. Shit, it was easier. You know what I'm saying? Because the one we had to realize and somebody had left a comment, and I should have pinned that shit. Somebody had left a comment and said, nobody's going to love you, Scorpio, like you do. You know what I'm saying? And until each and every one of us realize that shit, I know that. You know what I'm saying? I know nobody can give me the love. Nobody can give me none of that shit. Because it's me. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? And nobody can give you that until you know. Until you know that you deserve it, okay? Nobody's going to love you like you do, Scorpio, okay? And I feel like this is why this person, they don't know if you're going to have the connection. It's like now they finally see, like it took this person a long ass time to see the big picture. You know what I'm saying? And for some of you guys, shit, you drew the motherfucking picture for them, okay? You colored it and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just to get them to see what you were seeing. But it, they were, it wasn't a time to see it, Scorpio. It was not their time. And, and the sad thing about this, what I'm learning about all this twin flame shit. You know what I'm saying? This is something I even had to learn. You know, I, I I got into, like I said, my spiritual journey and was put on my spiritual path about 
two years ago. I, I had my channel be two years in April. We'll be celebrating our two year anniversary. And, you know, when I first was hearing about the twins, you know, from what my homeboy was saying, like, yeah, you and this person just going to be together, whoop, 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 this and that. I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can kind of see that. But it's like as time is going on and I'm growing and I'm learning and shit, I'm learning really this twin flame journey is not really about you and this person. Like, yeah, it's about y'all could come together and do all this. But this shit, Scorpio, is all about us. This is the journey of self. And it's like as you grow and you really develop and you learn and accept who the fuck you are and what you're supposed to be doing, this wonderful fucking plan that spirit has for you. And a lot of times we don't see it all. I don't know my whole plan. I know snippets. I know bits and pieces of it. And for some of that shit could be way in the future. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of us, we were shown things. You know what I'm saying? Because we were different and spirit was able to show us things. And, and we knew who our kingdom husband and our kingdom wife was supposed to be way before they knew. You know what I'm saying? And the thing was, I really feel like for a lot of us on these twins, because I really feel like shit, over half my, if I, I ain't gonna say damn all, at least 90 to 95% of my subscribers, I feel like are twins. Because as I'm doing more personals and stuff and, and looking at storylines, like every person that comes to me finds out that either they're dealing with their twin or they're, you know, learning more about their twin flame journey. But I want to say even over half the people, I say 75% of the people I've done readings for, I've told them, you know, this is your twin. And it's like, you know, when you get fixated on, okay, well, me and this person are going to be together. And I'm not saying you not because I don't know everybody's storyline. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what the fuck going to happen in my story. But I just know right now, you know, I'm with y'all. I'm this ace of wands too. What I desire, what I truly desired in the past, want to be with this man, want to have this shit I was saying. I don't give a fuck about that no more. I really had it. I want that with the person I got now. You know what I'm saying? And that's that choice. Because remember, a lot of us, we were a choice and did not know that we were a choice. And that's why in the end, the ball is going to be put in our court. And at the end, regardless of who we choose, or we choose somebody new or somebody from the past, we gonna be happy, okay? Maybe happier with the past than the new. I don't know, cause I'm still in that process right now, trying to figure all this shit out. But I know I'm happy now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm with y'all with this ace of wands. What you desire, what you want in the past, you don't want that no more. And it's like it's crazy, cause it's like the shit is reversed. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what we wanted in the past. They didn't want it. Now the story done flipped. Now they gonna be looking for this shit, and we gonna be like, hell no. Nah. To the now, 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 hell to the now, okay? So let's see what this outcome, what this good old outcome going to be for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio. This is a good old way to come back, Scorpio, and, and I'm talking now, my job still fucking with me, so I ain't going to do too much, because I know uh, they will see me on my ass, and I ain't got time, Scorpio. I just, you know. Messages for my Scorpio. What is going to be the outcome? What is going to be the outcome for Scorpio and this person, Holy Spirit? It's going to be the outcome for Scorpio. Ooh, that was quick. Uh, two of, damn, lots of fire energy. We got heavy Aries coming through. We got the two of wands here, okay? Tell me more about this two of wands, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpio. For some of you guys, you're going to continue to focus on your personal goals. Like whatever goals, whatever dreams, whatever ambitions, whatever you got set for yourself, you're just going to focus on that, okay? I feel like for some of you, you fear what's going to happen if you were to give this person a chance. You know what I'm saying? Tell us more about the two of wands. Who was playing it safe, Holy Spirit? I feel like this person going to play it safe. Yeah. <sighs> Scorpio, for some of you guys, I don't even know how to say what percentage of what this is, okay? But for, uh, uh, I'm going to say quite a few of you guys. This person, this past person, you guys, is going to play it safe. And whoever they're dealing with, you know what I'm saying, whatever situation they're in now, they're going to do that shit. You're going to continue to focus on your personal goals and you're going to continue to achieve them shits, okay? But this person, they don't doubt this connection, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they don't... They don't feel, 
I feel like you doubt this person in this connection, okay? You don't feel like within that that they're ready to align with you, okay? I feel like for both of you guys, this could be mutual energy, fear of change, fear of the unknown. But I feel like they're going to be the ones playing it safe. And what that means, Scorpio, is that whatever situation, whatever they're in now, whether it be dealing with the karmic third party, whatever situation they got going on now, they're going to continue to stay in that shit because they're unsure. This came out sideways. See, this is what they want. They want to give this, this cup of love to you, okay? They want to have an equal give and take. But see, they're unsure. This came out sideways. And so because they're unsure, they're going to play it safe doing the same old shit that they've been doing, okay? And that's exactly why a lot of us are going to be guided to move on because you're still going to be waiting on somebody to come towards you and bring you an offer, and they're still going to be playing it safe with this damn past person here, okay? All right, y'all. So let's get through these signs here, and I'm going to go to the who did here. We are already 25 in, fuck it. So we got Cancer. We got Aries, Taurus, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Sag, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus. <laughs> And Aries, Leo, Sash, the lots of fire, lots of Aries, and Libra. And let's roll the dice. Let's get a couple more. We got Leo, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer. And we got Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, and Leo. Okay, so let's go to the hootie. And let's see who this reading is about for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. Thank you guys once again for being patient with me. I'm going to try my best to see if, if I can get maybe a couple of more out for you guys, but I ain't going to overdo it because I want to stay in good health and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I do want to get y'all these messages, but I ain't going to overdo it because I can't be disobedient because I ain't got time for the universe to send me down, okay? <laughs> I love you, Scorpio. Messages for my Scorpios. What do they need to know, Holy Spirit? Who is this reading about for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios? Who is this reading about? Okay, so we got a pretty boy. Pretty Ricky, what they called him. Who is this reading about for Scorpio, Holy Spirit? All right, this could be someone who has a gap in their tooth. Someone who wears lashes. Who is this about, Holy Spirit? I'm going to get a few more. Who is this reading about for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios? Who is this about? All right. So we got age 25 to 30. Okay. This could be about someone who has big feet. Any more Holy Spirit? Okay. And then I'm going to take the goatee beard at the bottom, okay? All right, Scorpios, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.